Wow, you ask a, a deep question. <laughs> um, I think it's the most important question in the world. So this is the question. Microsoft changed the world. Bill Gates made the lives of billions of people around the world better. Microsoft has changed the lives of more people than maybe any other individual in all of human history. Indeed, as I said, entrepreneurs are in the business of making people's lives better every single day. How much moral, ethical credit do they get for it? Zero. Negative, actually. How dare they make money at the same time? I'm learning from you. <laughs> How dare they? How dare he make money by creating the biggest fast food company in the world and making all of the, the lives of every customer better? But he's making money doing it. That's not moral. That's not ethical, we are told. Right? And yet, Take, tone it down a little bit, okay. Um, a little bit of money. No, he makes a lot of money. And he, should, and he should be a little bit on each piece, but you add it all up. But he should be, be, see, he should be proud of making a lot of money. The fact that you make a lot of money means you've changed lots of people's lives. It means you've created a lot of wealth. It means you've made the world a better place a lot, not a little bit. Making a little bit of money, eh. Making a lot of money, ooh, that's cool. And then, notice when Bill Gates, who's just changed the world, is eh, a villain. People don't really like him. But then, he starts a foundation. He leaves Microsoft. God forbid you make money. And he goes, and he starts giving money away. And not even giving money away near where he lives. Because Seattle, you could, you could do a lot of philanthropy in Seattle. But no, he has to go all the way to Africa to do his philanthropy as far away from him as possible, then he's a good guy. He's still not great. He's still not Mother Teresa. Why? He lives in a big house. He's still got a lot of money. He flies on a private jet. How would we make Bill Gates a saint? How would we make Bill Gates a saint? Have you ever seen a saint? You see the paintings in the museums. Have you ever seen a painting of a saint smiling? No, because the whole point of being a saint, the whole point of being, according to our moral code, the whole point of being a good person is to suffer. The way to make Bill Gates a saint is to make him suffer. Like, sell the, move into, give the house away, move into a tent, right? Give all the money away, and if you could bleed a little bit for us, <laughs> then he's a good person, right? This is the morality that we live in. Build something, be successful, make something of your life, make the world a better place, eh. Give money away, which somehow you have, that's good. Sacrifice, that's good. Suffer, that's good. No, Bill Gates made the world a better place, a million times better than Mother Teresa. He should be the saint, not she. Now, Why is this? And this is why anybody in this room, and I don't think there are a lot of you, but anybody in this room who has not read Atlas Shrugged yet, or Atlas Revolts in, uh, in Portuguese, go read it. Because at the core of this is a corrupt moral code, ethical code. A moral code that tells us that the purpose of our lives is not to live, it's not to make our life the best life that it can be. That the purpose of life is to sacrifice for others. That the purpose of life is to make other people happy. Why? I love you guys, but I love me more. <laughs> and you love you more. And he loves him more. You can tell, right? Um, <laughs> but that's good. And our moral purpose in life should be to make our lives, our own lives, the best lives that we can have. We have one life. We have one shot at it. Make the most of it. Live. Live fully as a human being. Flourish as a human being. Other people can take care of themselves. You take care of you. That is a moral code of freedom. That is a moral code of personal responsibility. That is a moral code of entrepreneurship. That is a moral code 
for a future of prosperity and success and, and wealth. Take care of yourself. Make your life, your happiness, your flourishing, your moral responsibility, your one moral responsibility. You want to help some people? Fine. But that's not where you get your moral credit. Helping yourself is where you get your moral credit. So go out there, be an entrepreneur, and don't apologize. Make money and don't apologize. You know, as long as you're not stealing, cheating, lying, as long as you're making it honestly, then you have made your life something. You have lived. You have been passionate about life. You have, you have taken a vision you have up here and made it a reality in the world out there. What could be more noble than that? Businessmen are the most heroic, noble people in the world. We shouldn't have statues of generals and stupid politicians and, and anybody. We should have statues of business leaders, the people who actually make the world great. <laughs>